Hey everybody, want to welcome you to session two of our prayer group here with my good friend, Pastor Ricky Bradshaw, unbelievable leader in our city. Uh, just thank you so much in advance before we even get started with this semester, how, how God is just going to impact so many through it. I just, just thank you. Man, I'm honored. It is an honor to have you. Pastor Ricky is just an incredible leader. You've helped equip so many people in our city around the nation and the world, many, many men and women inside prison, and just just your stance um, for prayer, your your um, reputation, it just, man, thank you for being the man of God that you are. Brandon, I'm honored uh, to get to meet you and to, to elevate people and to share what God has had on our heart. It's just an amazing opportunity for me. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. Amen. Yeah. You give me this opportunity, so I'm blessed. Oh, it's so going to be so, so great. I promise you this. You do not want to miss a single week at a prayer group. Every single week, our goal over this, over this semester is every session, we're going to break down a little bit more of prayer on how to make prayer priority in your life and how to make a prayer priority in your household, in our community, in our city. And today's session is about transformational prayer. Today is about how to not pray my way, but how to pray how to pray his way. And so I'm going to hand it to you, Pastor Ricky, and see teaches us today on what does transformational prayer mean in our lives and how do we apply it to our household? Thank you, Brandon. I, I am very honored to, to come into your life today. Um, I believe that God wants to communicate to you how much he loves you in a very unique way and it's called his way. And prayer is the medium by which he chose to use to love on us. It's, it's like um, God knows where you are before you talk to him or before you even ask to talk to him. But he wants you to know who he is and where and where he is and what's on his heart as much as it is what's on yours. And he wants to listen to, to you, but he also wants to communicate to you through prayer. And so this is a transformational prayer is about um, n not my way, but his way. Um, which says that there are two different types of prayer. Um, mm -hmm. There's transformational prayer yeah. and transactional prayer. Mm -hmm. Many of us know how to make transactions with God. Yeah. It's where we treat him as though he's a handyman. Mm -hmm. And God says, I can be your handyman. Mm -hmm. I can mow your lawn for you. Yeah. I can you know, wash the dishes for you. Yeah. I can make sure you get up on time. I can be your chauffeur. Mm -hmm. I can be your doctor. I can be your accountant. Whatever you want me to do, I can do it because I am all and I'm in all. Wow. But he says, I'm more than that. Yeah. I would prefer for you to have a loving relationship with me That's right. That's right. and not a handyman relationship with yeah. me. That's good. Because when you have a loving relationship with me, you have transformation, which leads you to be like me or to understand my ways, or to know what my plans are. Yeah. I know what the day's gonna look like, and I'm more than happy to talk to you about yeah. it. Yeah, wow. Transformation means not the same. Yeah, You're cha the same. Yeah. changing into a new, a new prayer, a yeah. new person. A new person. And a new you. A new life, a new you. Um, we've been taught that God wants to fix your world. Yeah. And we've also been encouraged Hey, pray to God about all your problems and he's going to meet your needs, right? right. But he can. Yes. But there are some things he will not respond to. Mm. And we don't know what those things are, do we? Mm -hmm. There are some things that God says, well, you ask me to, about some things, I, I can't function. Because transformation says there's something I need to do so that I can function in prayer so that God can function in my life. It's called uh, clean hands and a pure heart. Yeah. In other words, you're asking God to do something and he says, I didn't hear you. Yeah. Transformation prayer says, I make sure that God will hear me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. For example, you have been praying a long time about some specific issues in your life yeah. and there's been no change. Mm -hmm. No transformation. Anybody been there? <laughs> I know I have. That's for sure. But, but, but here, here's the thing that really um, 
encouraged me to pray differently. There's a story of a woman who's a widow. And Jesus told this story about men ought to always pray, all right? And women and children too, okay? Everybody ought to always pray and not faint, right? What that means is, is that if you're going through some situations in your life and these situations are causing you to faint, to give up, he says men ought to pray. And he told the story of this lady who went to visit a judge and she had no one to respond to her needs, but this judge could. She was a widow. She didn't have any children. She didn't have a son to take care of her and she didn't have a man. But she had a judge. So the judge was in town and she says, I know what to do. Let me go talk to this judge and, and let this judge kind of handle my problems for me because that's his role. He's supposed to take care of me, right? Yeah. So she goes and the judge says, uh, not today. I don't, I, I don't have time for you today. Mm -hmm. But she goes back and then she goes back again. Mm -hmm. She keeps on pestering this judge until she gets what she wants, right? Yeah. So one day she went and the judge said, um, Okay, I don't fear God and I don't fear man, but I fear you. <laughs> that if I don't respond to your request, you're going to keep coming before me every day, bugging me to death. I mean, just really making my life miserable. So what do you want? And she tells him what she needs and he answers it immediately. And Jesus said this. He says, did you not hear that this judge feared God, nor did he fear man, but he feared this woman because she was pestering him day and night. Mm. He said, how much more would the father provide or bless or respond to them immediately wow. who pray like that? Pray like that. Wow. Did you get the word? The word was God wants to respond to you immediately. immediately. Come on. When's the last yeah. time you pray one minute and two minutes later you walked yeah. into your your destiny. Wow. Walk into your mirror. Wow. <laughs> When's the last time you prayed for healing and it, it happened? Oh. Hmm. You didn't have to wait six months. Yeah. Come on. Come on Jesus said, that. if you pray like this, there's a specific type of prayer that gets immediate attention to God. Wow. It's hmm. called pestering prayer. Pestering prayer. <laughs> but God says, you don't have to pester me. Come on. If That's you pray for me, yeah, you don't have, have to pester me. He says, I can respond like that immediately. So I said, okay, well, I need to learn how to pray like this little woman. Yes. Wow. And the scriptures is, the Bible is filled with examples and God's communication to us that you don't have to pester me. Wow. Come on. But you have to have a heart like that. Yes. And that's a heart that says, I know that if I come before you the right way mm. at the right time, mm. you'll respond to me immediately. Now that, a lot of folks will say, you know, well, God, I pray, but maybe it's not time yet. Mm. I pray today and you have not responded. Mm. Uh, so that means I have to wait. Sometimes that's true. There's a divine appointment where God has to arrange certain things to come around. But the Father wants us to think, that when you ask, you shall receive. Mm -hmm. That's called faith. Yes. But it's not just believing that God can, yeah. it's believing that I can get. <laughs> and so you act differently. Yes. So when you pray, you pray like this. Mm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And watch this, give us this day our daily bread. Not 30 days, not 60 days, but this day. It's sort of like, I need you now. It's that urgency kind of thing. It's that widow yes, kind of thing. Yes. I just need today. today. And then, here, and, and watch this. Mm. And then he says, pray like this. Wow. Forgive me for my trespasses mm. as I forgive those who have trespassed against me. Now, you know what that means, right? Okay. You obtain mercy when you give mercy. mercy. Blessed are the merciful, yep. for they shall obtain mercy. Yep. So you understand that that's the kingdom's yes. medium of exchange of getting things done. Mm. And transformation happens because we understand not only that God can, but God will.
transform my world around me. That's a totally different world. It's totally different. Totally different world. And when you see this happening um, in your prayer life, that when you pray and all of a sudden you find yourself experiencing God's answer to that prayer immediately. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the next session. I tell you, Pastor Ricky, that's powerful. What, it, what I just got out of that was that we need to have a spirit of urgency mm -hmm. to that God can do it right now. Right now. He can do it. A sense of urgency. A sense of urgency. Uh, and it's, it's like, um, how can I put this? It's like I'm desperate. Desperate. It's, and it's desperation called. can be a great thing. Yeah, it is. When, when it's channeled through the spirit of God. And it's not, it, watch this, Brandon. It's not desperate for the daily bread. It's desperate for something greater, Correct. which is before that. Yes. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. That's what I want. Once I tap into that, all these other things will be added unto me. Come on. I tell you, God can transform your world when you transform your thinking and you change your heart. And it's a heart thing. And I believe that that's what this is all about. And uh, I'm going to ask Pastor Ricky to pray here in just a moment. But here in just a second, you're going to have your host team is going to play a worship song. And we got a call to action on your printout right there to where in the next few moments right after this video, we're going to play a worship song, whether you're in the living room, sitting in your house, sitting in your car, listening to this at the office, no matter what it is, and begin to pray these things over your life. And I believe you're going to just be like, you're going to be just like the widow. You go before the Lord and say this day, <laughs> this day, I'm, I'm going to receive my miracle and I believe that God is going to do that. Will you just pray for everybody sure, sure. for have a transformation of prayer to yes, think, sure. think about prayer differently and that God can literally transform my world. Let's pray like this. Father, you are an awesome God. You can hear everybody breathing at one time. You know what our needs are. You know what our needs are are before we even ask you but Lord there's something greater than our needs our breathing and our eating and our sleeping and our awareness of the things that, of life that we need like clothing and food none of that means nothing to us without you we want your presence to come into our world for when you come into our world all these other things will be added unto us. Teach us how to pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, this means that you are too far away from us. We don't want you in heaven. We want you to hang out with us on earth. And we want your will to be done, not our way, but your way. Teach us your way so that we can pray according to your will and your will shall be done immediately in our world. We bless you and we thank you for this wonderful opportunity for the brothers and sisters who are going to pray this day. And may they look forward by faith to see you respond to their prayer request immediately. You're an awesome God. You can do this. Convince us of your ways this day, we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next session.